Hello, I hope everyone had an amazing week. I want everyone's attention to go up towards the link above this video. It's the uh, Indie Author Relief Fund. A bunch of indie authors have decided to donate their books, swag, and services to help the uh, tsunami and earthquake victims of Japan. All proceeds will go to that. And will go to the Red Cross, actually. Um, a bunch of awesome auctions that are ending tonight at midnight. So hurry up, and on those. And my auction ends Tuesday. I will be auctioning off a signed copy of my YA fantasy, The Chosen, a couple of bookmarks, and this mini notebook. And that ends Tuesday. Alright. Now on to my books that I got this week. I got Beast by Donna Jo Napoli. Finally. Uh, the Amazon actually showed a different cover. I was kind of bummed because I thought I'd get that cover. And I've always wanted this cover. So I was very surprised when I got this cover. I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. That's like the number one thing that you should know about me. And I think this is going to be like the fourth Beauty and the Beast retelling that I own. Not to mention all the movies. I actually love fairy tale retellings, and I hope one day to actually write one. Hopefully, by the time I do write one, it won't seem like an unoriginal retold of a retelling. So, we'll see. Um, I got The Indian Captive, The Story of Mary Jemison by Lois Lenski. Um, I've actually never read a Lois Lenski book. She's a very popular local author here. Actually, not pop. She's actually the most famous local author here. Um, the uh, children's section in the library is actually called the Linsky Room. So I'm actually surprised I've never read a Lois Linsky book. I also got Sold by Patricia McCormick. Um, this is a National Book Award finalist. This is about a 13-year-old girl from Nepal. She has a poor life. And uh, her stepfather tells her to take another job. To take a job to support the family. Help support the family, I should say. Um, she gets introduced to a stranger who tells her she will find her job as a maid in the city. So she agrees to do this, but finds out she's been sold into prostitution. I also got Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchow. I fell in love with this cover. It's all on Demon Heart, and I said I had to get this. I'm sorry that I actually feel bad because I judge books by their covers, but this is gorgeous art. I would actually buy a print of this. Uh, actually, hopefully in the far off future. The artist... I'm not really sure who the artist is. But Jason Chan. Jason Chan, I want you to design a cover for my book. One day. I'm not sure which book, but one day. Uh, I also got Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I've heard amazing things about this one and the sequel, Crescendo. So. I don't know when I'll get Crescendo, and I don't know when I'll get around to reading Hush Hush because I have like a ton of books on my to be read list. And I got like the most highly anticipated book that everyone's been talking about right now, Wither by Lauren Stefano. I haven't read much dystopian novels, um, but this sounds really intriguing. I think everyone knows what the summary is about, so I'm not even going to rehash that. But I'll be reading that after I'm done reading Quote by Alex Flynn. So that's what I got in my mailbox this week. I hope everyone had an amazing week and you guys all got great books. Until next time, goodbye!